An invasive bug crawling into our state. It looks pretty, but the spotted lanternfly is not harmless. It won't harm humans or pets, but it is a serious threat for farms and vineyards. W Funny News Amber Lake shows you what all the buzz is about with this pesky little insect. It will end up being problematic in a lot of ways. These tiny little bugs. It could travel on vehicles. It could travel on on really practically anything are a big problem. We're primarily concerned for what it will do to our agricultural crops. This is the spotted lanternfly spotted in North Carolina for the first time in Kernersville last week. It's an invasive species quickly spreading nationwide. They damage and feast on dozens of plants, including apples, roses, and grapes. And while they're doing that, they secrete a product called honeydew. And the honeydew drops, but it creates this very, very, very sticky substance under heavily infested trees. It's almost like it's raining down this honeydew. Uh, all of this becomes very sticky to attack st stinging insects. And then afterwards, this sticky substance begins to grow sooty molds. This invasive pest also loves tree of heaven. They use it to eat and lay their eggs, but it should be called the tree of death for these little guys. The tree is actually their favorite meal, something the State Department of Agriculture takes advantage of. It's a spray that we put on the bark. It's called a basil spray. And then the tree actually takes it up and moves it through the entire system of the plant and then when the spotted lanternfly feed on this invasive tree, it, it will kill them from feeding. Spotted lanternflies are easy to find on Tree of Heaven. They start as egg masses, then transform into these little guys. So the adults are much more, more mobile, and that is what you're seeing here on this Tree of Heaven. Um, you can see for a size reference, I won't get too close because there are plant hoppers. The NC Ag Department is out surveying and treating areas where they find these spotted lanternflies. They even brought in an egg sniffing dog to help out. I've always been interested in whatever I can do to help um, keep keep the bad bugs out. Here's what to do if you spot the lantern fly. Snap a pic, report it online to the Ag Department, <laughs> then you squash it. And act fast, the Ag Department says the bugs will start to swarm and spread in late summer. They're totally harmless to humans. Uh, but again, highly invasive, spread very, very quickly. In Kernersville, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2. I don't know what's better, the tree of death or that cute dog that smells them out. Since these bugs love grapes, we did reach out to some local vineyards. So far, they have not reported any sightings.